Okay, for the next example, we have a table giving the political party affiliations uh, for a certain set of voters. And our experiment is as follows. We select one person at random from this set. We want to find the probability that this person has a party affiliation. Well, of course, one way to do it would be just to add up the percents of the voters who have a party affiliation, uh, but the indirect way to do it, which may be easier, is just to subtract the uh, percent of those people who have no party affiliation from 100%. Okay, and when we do that, we get 76.3%, which of course is the same as the answer that we would get by adding up 42.4, 26.3, 1.3, and 6.3.